Stories and Documentary Network. In the heart of modern-day Mexico, nestled within the Valley of Mexico, lies the enigmatic city of Teotihuacan. Known as the City of the Gods, this ancient metropolis remains one of the most profound mysteries of human history. It stands as an enduring testament to the ingenuity and cultural richness of the pre-Columbian civilizations of Mesoamerica, capturing the imaginations of explorers, archaeologists, and historians from around the world. For more than a thousand years, the city's secrets have beckoned, a siren's call that has drawn both the curious and the scholarly alike into its labyrinthine streets and monumental structures. It's a place where gods and men once walked side by side, leaving behind echoes of a lost civilization, waiting to be deciphered. In the annals of Mesoamerican history, few places evoke such profound reverence and wonder as Teotihuacan. Its iconic status can be likened to the Great Pyramids of Giza, the Colosseum in Rome, or the Parthenon in Athens. It is a place where myth, spirituality, and the craftsmanship of a people long vanished have intertwined to create an indelible tapestry of human achievement. But unlike the pyramids of Giza, Teotihuacan conceals its mysteries not within the tombs of pharaohs but within the structures and murals that adorn the living spaces of its inhabitants. Today, Teotihuacan is not just a relic of the past, it is a living testament to our collective fascination with history and archaeology. Visitors from every corner of the globe arrive with a sense of reverence, their footsteps echoing those of countless others who have come before. Tourists, scholars, and spiritual seekers converge on this sacred ground, driven by a profound desire to connect with the past. For many, it is a pilgrimage to a place where humanity's eternal quest for meaning and purpose took form in the shadow of the gods. Teotihuacan today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its pyramids and plazas, though weathered by the ravages of time, still stand proudly against the horizon. The city continues to inspire awe and intrigue, its story one of a people who constructed their dreams in stone and murals, leaving behind cryptic symbols that challenge us to decipher their meanings. As the sun rises over the Pyramid of the Sun, we embark on a journey through time, guided by those who dedicate their lives to unlocking the secrets of Teotihuacan. This is a journey of exploration, a voyage of understanding, and a testament to the power of curiosity. Join us as we traverse the ancient streets, beneath the monumental pyramids and through the sacred plazas, seeking to unlock the secrets of this timeless marvel. Together, we will endeavor to understand a civilization that, like the gods it revered, left an indelible mark on history. Mysteries of Teotihuacan Teotihuacan the City of the Gods is a place of mystique and enigma, where the remnants of an ancient civilization beckon with whispers of untold stories. This mysterious city, nestled in the heart of Mexico, has continued to baffle archaeologists, historians, and anthropologists for generations. It's a place where the stones speak, but their language remains incomprehensible. In this segment, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries that still shroud Teotihuacan in an aura of fascination and uncertainty. The mysteries of Teotihuacan are like puzzle pieces scattered across time, waiting to be pieced together to form a coherent narrative. One of the most enigmatic aspects is its origin. Who were the builders of this magnificent city? The question of Teotihuacan's founding civilization remains a topic of debate, with theories ranging from the Toltec, Maya, to the mysterious, unknown, civilization. Even its name, Teotihuacan, comes from the Nahuatl language, meaning, the place where the gods were created, suggesting the significance of this place transcended time and culture. Another perplexing aspect is the abrupt decline of Teotihuacan. What led to the city's ultimate collapse and abandonment around the 7th or 8th century? Was it an external invasion, internal strife, or environmental factors? The answers remain elusive, leaving us to speculate on what might have brought about the fall of this great civilization. Amidst these mysteries, the towering structures of Teotihuacan stand as silent witnesses to the past. The Pyramid of the Sun, with its vast dimensions, looms as a testament to the city's ambitions. Rising 216 feet into the sky, it is not only a symbol of architectural prowess but also a monument of cosmic significance. At its heart lies the mystery of alignment with celestial events. 
Researchers have noted that the Pyramid of the Sun, like many other Mesoamerican pyramids, is meticulously aligned with celestial phenomena. Its west-facing side is oriented towards the setting sun during the spring equinox. As the sun sets, it casts intriguing shadows that some interpret as symbolic representations of the feathered serpent, a central deity in Mesoamerican cosmology. The precision of this alignment and the complex calculations required to achieve it are nothing short of astounding. It speaks to the deep astronomical and cosmological knowledge possessed by the builders of Teotihuacan. We are left to wonder, was the Pyramid of the Sun a place of celestial observation and ritual, where the movements of the heavens were closely intertwined with the life of the city and its people? Adjacent to the Pyramid of the Sun stands the equally impressive Pyramid of the Moon, a structure equally shrouded in mystery. Some researchers suggest it was dedicated to the great goddess of Teotihuacan, a deity associated with fertility and the cycles of the moon. The Pyramid of the Moon's precise relationship with celestial events and its connection to the city's rituals continue to be subjects of intense study and fascination. The Pyramid of the Moon and the Pyramid of the Sun are not just monumental architectural marvels, they are profound symbols of Teotihuacan's intricate relationship with the cosmos. They challenge us to contemplate the depth of knowledge and spiritual significance embedded within the city's very foundations. As we venture deeper into Teotihuacan, we will encounter more mysteries and marvels, from the symbolic significance of the Avenue of the Dead to the elaborate murals that grace the city's structures. Together, we will seek to uncover the hidden meanings within the stone walls, allowing the past to speak to us in its cryptic, yet captivating, language. City Layout and Urban Planning Teotihuacan is not just a city. It's a testament to human ingenuity in urban planning, architecture, and symbolism. Its layout, with the Avenue of the Dead as its spine, presents a window into the organized and awe-inspiring world of this ancient civilization. In this segment, we will embark on a journey through the city's urban design, multi-family dwellings, and the infrastructure that made this metropolis thrive. At the heart of Teotihuacan lies the impressive Avenue of the Dead, a central thoroughfare that bisects the city, stretching for over a mile. This ancient boulevard is not a highway of the living but a passage to the afterlife. It is a symbolic avenue of ritual and reverence, flanked by impressive structures and meticulously aligned to celestial events. The Avenue of the Dead is a place where the living engaged with the divine, a path that linked the earthly with the cosmic. Along its length, we find a procession of remarkable structures, including the Pyramid of the Moon and the Pyramid of the Sun, standing like colossal sentinels guarding the way. They are more than monuments, they are gateways to a world of spiritual significance. The Avenue of the Dead is a testament to the city's complex cosmology. It aligns with the directions of the cardinal points, indicating its connection to the cosmos. Along this sacred avenue, rituals and processions played out, connecting the people to their deities. It's a reminder that Teotihuacan was not just a place of secular living but a city where the sacred permeated every stone. The grid-like layout of Teotihuacan streets and neighborhoods reveals a carefully planned and orderly urban environment. This advanced urban planning is a testament to the foresight and sophistication of the city's architects and builders. The city's streets were remarkably wide and straight, with uniform block sizes, reflecting a deliberate and systematic approach to design. One of the most distinctive features of Teotihuacan is its multi-family apartment complexes. These massive residential structures, called apartment compounds, were designed to house large communities. They showcased an early form of urban living, where hundreds of families lived together in close proximity. The layout of these compounds allowed for efficient use of space while fostering a sense of community. Inside these multi-family dwellings, archaeologists have discovered a wealth of information about daily life in Teotihuacan. Rooms were equipped with hearths for cooking, individual sleeping quarters, and often featured vibrant murals that decorated the walls. It's a glimpse into the domestic aspects of a civilization that, for all its grandeur, was grounded in the everyday activities of its inhabitants. The city's infrastructure was no less impressive. It included a network of drainage systems to manage rainwater and wastewater. Advanced engineering techniques were employed to channel and dispose of water efficiently, 
ensuring the health and sanitation of the population. Teotihuacan's planners not only built monumental structures but also took care of the practical needs of its people. Teotihuacan's urban planning and infrastructure were ahead of their time. The city's architects had a deep understanding of geometry, astronomy, and engineering. They laid the groundwork for a society that was not just functional but also deeply symbolic. Every street, every building, had a role to play in the city's grand narrative. As we traverse the streets and plazas of Teotihuacan, we begin to grasp the city's remarkable urban design. The Avenue of the Dead serves as the cosmic spine of the city, connecting its diverse neighborhoods and multifamily dwellings, while reflecting an unwavering commitment to the divine. This is a city where practicality and spirituality coexisted, where the everyday and the sacred were inextricably intertwined. Religion and Cosmology In the heart of Teotihuacan, religion and cosmology were not mere aspects of life, they were the very essence of the city's existence. This civilization, known as the City of the Gods, derived its identity from a rich tapestry of spiritual beliefs and practices. In this segment, we delve deep into Teotihuacan's religious landscape, focusing on the awe-inspiring Temple of the Feathered Serpent, exploring the profound significance of the Feathered Serpent deity, and uncovering how cosmological beliefs were etched into the very design of the city. Teotihuacan's religious practices were centered around a pantheon of deities, but one god in particular held a special place in the hearts of its people, the Feathered Serpent, known as Quetzalcoatl, in Nahuatl. The Feathered Serpent was a multifaceted deity, associated with creation, fertility, and the cycles of life. At the heart of the city, the Temple of the Feathered Serpent stood as a testament to the devotion and reverence Teotihuacan held for this powerful and enigmatic god. The Temple of the Feathered Serpent, also known as the Temple of the Feathered Serpent and the Feathered Conch Shells, is one of the most striking structures in Teotihuacan. Its name alone evokes a sense of mystery and grandeur. The temple is characterized by its intricate and symbolic decorations, including feathered serpents and conch shells, which are laden with profound meaning. The significance of the feathered serpent deity in Teotihuacan's religious cosmology cannot be overstated. Quetzalcoatl was often depicted as a feathered serpent, an amalgamation of two powerful and contrasting symbols. The serpent, representing the earth, the underworld, and change, was intertwined with the majestic Quetzal bird, signifying the heavens, divinity, and transcendence. This fusion of dualities symbolized a fundamental aspect of Teotihuacan spirituality, the interconnectedness of all things. Pilgrims and worshippers flocked to the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, ascending its steep steps in a symbolic journey towards the Divine. The Temple was both a place of reverence and a stage for ritual performance. Offerings were made, and ceremonies were conducted, often involving the use of sacred substances, to connect with the spiritual realm. It was a place where the earthly met the celestial, and where the presence of Quetzalcoatl was invoked. The cult of Quetzalcoatl permeated the city's architecture and design. His presence is evident in the feathered serpent motifs adorning the facades of buildings and temples. The city itself, with its meticulously planned layout and alignment with celestial events, echoed the harmony and cosmic balance central to Teotihuacan's cosmological beliefs. Teotihuacan's cosmological beliefs were reflected in its very streets and structures. The layout of the city, with its orientation towards the cardinal directions, is a manifestation of the city's connection to the cosmos. The Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, aligned with celestial events, underscore the importance of astronomical and cosmological knowledge in the city's design. The design of Teotihuacan was a reflection of a sacred geography. The city's layout, its alignment with the heavens, and its rituals were all grounded in a profound cosmology. It was believed that the gods walked among the people of Teotihuacan, and their actions were closely tied to the movements of the celestial bodies. The Pyramid of the Sun, for example, was not just a monument. It was a celestial observatory, a place where the passage of time and the turning of the seasons were marked. In the world of Teotihuacan, the feathered serpent deity was not a distant god but a symbol of the interplay between the earthly and the celestial. Quetzalcoatl was the bridge, the divine link between the realms of creation and the cosmos. 
The city's streets, its rituals, and its grand pyramids were all threads in the tapestry of a cosmic narrative, where the gods and humanity were interconnected, where creation and destruction were part of a grand celestial dance. As we walk the sacred grounds of Teotihuacan, it becomes clear that this was not just a city, it was a sanctuary of spirituality and cosmic understanding. The Temple of the Feathered Serpent, with its intricate symbolism, is a testament to the profound beliefs that animated the people of Teotihuacan, and the Feathered Serpent deity is an embodiment of the enduring mysteries and awe-inspiring complexity of this ancient civilization. The People of Teotihuacan The Inhabitants in the bustling heart of Teotihuacan, a diverse community thrived, each member contributing to the city's vitality and grandeur. In this part of our journey, we delve into the lives of Teotihuacan's inhabitants, exploring their daily routines, the city's social structure, and the pivotal roles played by craftsmen, farmers, and rulers in shaping this remarkable city. Teotihuacan was more than an architectural marvel. It was a thriving metropolis inhabited by a multitude of individuals, each contributing to the city's vitality and grandeur. Its residents came from diverse backgrounds and played integral roles in the city's social fabric. In Teotihuacan, life was a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of labor and culture. The city was home to not only rulers and priests but also skilled craftsmen, hard-working farmers, dedicated laborers, and gifted artists. The city's urban layout and design mirrored its egalitarian nature, where both the humble and the noble shared common ground. At the heart of Teotihuacan's prosperity were its artisans, who toiled tirelessly to create exquisite pottery, jewelry, and textiles. These skilled craftsmen were instrumental in providing the city's residents not only with utilitarian goods but also with artistry that has transcended the test of time. The craftsmen of Teotihuacan were the true architects of its artistic legacy, their delicate pottery, intricate jewelry, and vibrant murals have illuminated the artistic achievements of this civilization. Their work transcends mere aesthetics. It is a window into the daily lives and cultural vibrancy of the Teotihuacan people. The city's agricultural prosperity was also a vital cog in the wheel of Teotihuacan. Farmers dedicated their days to cultivating the maize, beans, and squash that sustained the city's inhabitants. Their profound knowledge of agriculture and the fertile land surrounding the city was fundamental to its growth and prosperity. The rulers and priests in Teotihuacan were not only the city's political leaders but also played critical roles in overseeing the religious life of the inhabitants. They presided over elaborate ceremonies and rituals that permeated the city's streets, pyramids, and plazas. It was their duty to maintain the connection between the earthly realm and the divine. Commerce was another vital aspect of Teotihuacan society. The city's marketplaces were a vibrant hub where traders from diverse regions came to exchange goods. The economy of Teotihuacan thrived on the trade of obsidian, pottery, and other goods, reflecting a city that was not just self-sufficient but also engaged with its neighbors. As we navigate the intricate cultural tapestry of Teotihuacan, we discover a world where the ordinary and the extraordinary were woven together. The inhabitants of Teotihuacan were not just builders and laborers, they were artists and believers, contributing to a rich cultural tapestry that continues to inspire awe and fascination. Trade was the heartbeat of Teotihuacan. This bustling metropolis was more than an architectural wonder. It was a thriving economic and cultural center that connected with distant regions through a complex web of commerce. In this part of our journey, we embark on a voyage through time to explore the trade networks that linked Teotihuacan to faraway lands, unravel the intricacies of the city's economy, and delve into the fascinating role of obsidian as a prized trade commodity. The marketplaces of Teotihuacan were a melting pot of Mesoamerican culture. Traders from various regions converged here, creating a vibrant tapestry of goods from near and far. Teotihuacan's trade networks extended far beyond its monumental pyramids, connecting it to a web of exchange that stretched across Mesoamerica. Teotihuacan's trade was not just limited to its immediate neighbors, it was connected to a vast network that reached regions as far as present-day Guatemala, the Gulf Coast, and the American Southwest. This extensive trade network allowed the city to access exotic goods, fostering cultural exchange and shaping its economic landscape. 
The main trade routes that converged on Teotihuacan were like arteries, nourishing the city with a diverse array of goods. Textiles, pottery, precious stones, and obsidian were transported along these routes, providing the inhabitants with both practical and luxurious items. Teotihuacan's trade networks were instrumental in shaping its culture and economy. The city imported materials like greenstone and marine shells for use in its art and rituals. It was a dynamic center where the influences of various regions converged, making it a true cosmopolitan hub of the ancient world. One of the most sought-after commodities in Teotihuacan's trade network was obsidian, a volcanic glass renowned for its sharp edges. Obsidian was a precious resource, used in crafting a wide range of tools and weaponry. Its importance cannot be overstated in Teotihuacan's daily life and economy. Obsidian tools were indispensable for Teotihuacan's survival. They were not only practical for activities such as farming and construction but also crucial for the city's ritual practices and warfare. The art of crafting these tools was a highly specialized skill, mastered by skilled artisans. The source of Teotihuacan's obsidian was the Pachuca region, approximately 70 miles to the north. Miners would extract the raw material, and skilled artisans in Teotihuacan would transform it into various tools, blades, and ornaments. These products would find their way into the hands of Teotihuacan's inhabitants and be traded with other regions. Obsidian was the lifeblood of Teotihuacan. It was not only a practical necessity for survival but also a symbol of power and prestige. The city's rulers and elites often possessed finely crafted obsidian objects, showcasing their status and the city's economic prowess. Teotihuacan's obsidian workshops were centers of innovation and production. Skilled craftsmen would painstakingly craft obsidian into various forms, and the quality of their work was a testament to the city's commitment to excellence. Teotihuacan's economy was further enriched by its trading of pottery, textiles, and other artisanal goods. These products were not only consumed locally but also traded with other regions. The city's skilled potters and weavers produced items that were highly sought after for their quality and craftsmanship. Pottery was another significant trade commodity, and the potters of Teotihuacan were renowned for their intricate designs and artistic flair. Their wares found their way into homes and rituals across Mesoamerica, bearing witness to the city's creative and economic influence. Teotihuacan's markets were not only places of commerce but also of cultural exchange. Traders brought with them not only goods but also ideas, beliefs, and artistic styles. The city's inhabitants reveled in this diversity, shaping their own culture through these interactions. Trade and Commerce In the heart of ancient Teotihuacan, commerce was the lifeblood that pumped vitality into the city's veins. This bustling metropolis wasn't just a center of culture and spirituality. It was also a hub of trade, its reach extending far beyond its monumental pyramids. In this part of our journey, we embark on a voyage through time to explore the trade networks that connected Teotihuacan to distant regions, unravel the intricacies of the city's economy, and delve into the fascinating role of obsidian as a valuable trade commodity. The marketplaces of Teotihuacan were a riot of colors, sounds, and scents. Traders from distant lands gathered here, creating a vibrant tapestry of goods from near and far. Teotihuacan's trade networks extended across Mesoamerica, connecting it to various regions through a complex web of commerce. Teotihuacan's trade was not limited to its immediate neighbors, it was connected to a vast network that reached as far as present-day Guatemala, the Gulf Coast, and the American Southwest. This extensive trade network allowed the city to access an array of exotic goods, fostering cultural exchange and shaping its economic landscape. The main trade routes that converged on Teotihuacan were like arteries that nourished the city. Goods such as textiles, pottery, precious stones, and obsidian were transported along these routes, providing the inhabitants with items both practical and luxurious. Teotihuacan's trade networks were instrumental in shaping its culture and economy. The city imported materials like greenstone and marine shells for use in its art and rituals. It was a dynamic center where the influences of various regions melded together, making it a true cosmopolitan hub of the ancient world. 
One of the most sought-after commodities in Teotihuacan's trade network was obsidian, a volcanic glass known for its sharp edges. Obsidian was a precious resource, used in crafting a wide range of tools and weaponry. Its importance cannot be overstated in Teotihuacan's daily life and economy. Obsidian tools were a linchpin of Teotihuacan's economy and survival. They were not only indispensable for daily activities such as farming and construction but also crucial for the city's ritual practices and warfare. The art of crafting these tools was a highly specialized skill, mastered by skilled artisans. The source of Teotihuacan's obsidian was the Pachuca region, around 70 miles to the north. Miners would extract the raw material, and skilled artisans in Teotihuacan would transform it into a variety of tools, blades, and ornaments. These products would then find their way into the hands of Teotihuacan's inhabitants and be traded with other regions. Obsidian was the lifeblood of Teotihuacan. It was not only a practical necessity for survival but also a symbol of power and prestige. The city's rulers and elites often possessed finely crafted obsidian objects, showcasing their status and the city's economic prowess. Teotihuacan's obsidian workshops were centers of innovation and production. Skilled craftsmen would painstakingly craft obsidian into various forms, and the quality of their work was a testament to the city's commitment to excellence. Teotihuacan's economy was further enriched by its trading of pottery, textiles, and other artisanal goods. These products were not only consumed locally but also traded with other regions. The city's skilled potters and weavers produced items that were highly sought after for their quality and craftsmanship. Pottery was another significant trade commodity, and the potters of Teotihuacan were renowned for their intricate designs and artistic flair. Their wares found their way into homes and rituals across Mesoamerica, bearing witness to the city's creative and economic influence. Teotihuacan's markets were not only places of commerce but also of cultural exchange. Traders brought with them not only goods but also ideas, beliefs, and artistic styles. The city's inhabitants reveled in this diversity, shaping their own culture through these interactions. As we journey through Teotihuacan's trade and commerce, we uncover a city that thrived on its connections with the wider world. Its networks of exchange reached far and wide, making it a hub of economic and cultural activity. The obsidian that sharpened its blades and the pottery that adorned its homes were symbols of a civilization that both shaped and was shaped by the world around it. Exploration and Preservation Discovery and Excavation The mysteries of Teotihuacan lay buried beneath layers of earth and history, waiting to be unearthed and shared with the world. In this episode, we embark on a journey through time to explore the discovery and excavation efforts that uncovered the secrets of this ancient city. We will shine a light on the intrepid archaeologists who dedicated their lives to unraveling Teotihuacan's enigmas and the contributions that have enriched our understanding of this magnificent civilization. The story of Teotihuacan's discovery begins with the curiosity and determination of explorers and archaeologists. As early as the 17th century, Spanish conquistadors and travelers marveled at the monumental pyramids that lay hidden beneath the Mexican soil. However, it wasn't until the 19th and 20th centuries that systematic excavation efforts began. Key figures such as Leopoldo Baders, who led excavations in the early 20th century, played a pivotal role in uncovering Teotihuacan's secrets. His meticulous work revealed the intricacies of the city's urban planning, architecture, and artistic achievements. Baders was just one in a long line of passionate archaeologists who dedicated their lives to unraveling Teotihuacan's mysteries. They unearthed the Pyramid of the Sun, Pyramid of the Moon, the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, and numerous residential complexes, each contributing a piece to the puzzle of Teotihuacan's history. The early excavations were incredibly significant, but they were just the beginning of our journey to understand Teotihuacan. Each archaeological dig brought us closer to understanding the city's layout, social structure, and religious practices. It was like piecing together a magnificent jigsaw puzzle. Challenges and Preservation While Teotihuacan's secrets were slowly unveiled, new challenges emerged on the horizon. In this part of our exploration, we'll delve into the modern challenges of preserving this ancient wonder. Urban development, climate change, and the increasing number of visitors have posed unique challenges. 
Yet, dedicated efforts are underway to ensure the continued protection of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. As modern Mexico City encroaches on Teotihuacan, the city faces the challenges of urban development. The ever-expanding population and infrastructure developments threaten the integrity of this ancient site. Balancing the city's growth with the preservation of Teotihuacan is a delicate task. Climate change is another pressing concern. Increased rainfall and extreme weather events can erode the ancient structures and cause structural damage. Rising temperatures can accelerate the deterioration of ancient murals and architectural elements. Despite these challenges, Teotihuacan's preservation efforts are in full swing. Conservationists, archaeologists, and the Mexican government have launched initiatives to protect and restore the site. Advanced technologies and methodologies are being employed to mitigate the effects of urbanization and climate change. Teotihuacan's recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site has been a critical step in its preservation. UNESCO has supported various conservation projects, enabling the implementation of sustainable practices and research to safeguard the site for future generations. Preserving Teotihuacan is a shared responsibility. It's a delicate balance between respecting its cultural significance and ensuring its survival. The conservation efforts include reinforcing structures, protecting murals, and sustainable tourism practices that minimize the impact on the site. As we explore Teotihuacan's past, we also look toward its future. The challenges it faces are met with dedication and innovation. Through ongoing preservation efforts, Teotihuacan remains a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of the enduring spirit of an ancient civilization, and a source of wonder for generations to come. Contemporary Significance Teotihuacan Today As the sun sets over the pyramids of Teotihuacan, we turn our gaze to the present and explore the enduring legacy of this ancient city. Teotihuacan is not a relic of the past, it is a living testament to history's enduring impact on the modern world. In this part of our journey, we examine Teotihuacan today, its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the surge in tourism, and the contemporary rituals and celebrations that continue to honor its memory. Teotihuacan holds a special place on the global stage as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This recognition underscores its profound cultural and historical significance. The city's preservation is not just a local concern, it is a matter of international importance. With its UNESCO status, Teotihuacan has witnessed a surge in tourism. Visitors from all corners of the world flock to these ancient pyramids, eager to walk in the footsteps of those who inhabited this city over a millennium ago. The city has become a bridge between the present and the past. Yet, it's not just tourists who pay homage to Teotihuacan. Contemporary rituals and celebrations held at the site showcase the city's enduring spiritual and cultural significance. The descendants of the ancient Teotihuacanos continue to honor their ancestors through ceremonies that echo through time. Teotihuacan was not just an ancient city, it was a spiritual and cultural epicenter. We continue to pay our respects to the city through ceremonies and rituals. These practices remind us of our heritage and the enduring connections to our ancestors. The Global Legacy Teotihuacan's influence reaches far beyond the borders of Mexico. Its architecture, art, and culture have left an indelible mark on the contemporary world. In this section, we explore Teotihuacan's global legacy, how it has inspired modern art, architecture, and culture, and we interview experts and artists who draw their inspiration from this ancient marvel. Teotihuacan's iconic pyramids have served as a muse for modern architects around the world. Their monumental structures and precision have left architects in awe, inspiring contemporary buildings that echo the grandeur of the ancient city. Teotihuacan's architecture is a testament to human ingenuity. The sheer scale of its pyramids and the mathematical precision of its layout are a source of inspiration for architects. It's not just about replicating the past, it's about capturing the spirit of innovation and grandeur. The artistry of Teotihuacan's murals and pottery continues to inspire contemporary artists. The vibrant colors and intricate designs have found their way into modern galleries and exhibitions, bridging the gap between the ancient and the avant-garde. Teotihuacan's artistry is timeless. The murals, the intricate jewelry, the pottery, 
They all carry a piece of the ancient world into our modern lives. It's a conversation across millennia, a reminder of the enduring power of human creativity. Teotihuacan's cultural influence extends to festivals and celebrations around the world. Whether it's the dance, music, or the celebration of life itself, Teotihuacan's cultural legacy is alive and well, transcending time and place. The spirit of Teotihuacan lives on in cultural celebrations that honor its memory. From dance to music, these festivals remind us of the richness of this ancient civilization and its profound impact on our contemporary culture. Conclusion Our journey through Teotihuacan, this ancient marvel that stands as a sentinel of history, leads us to reflect on its enduring significance in the tapestry of world history. The mysteries and wonders of this city continue to captivate the human imagination, bridging the gap between the past and the present. Teotihuacan isn't merely an archaeological site, it is a testament to the ingenuity and cultural richness of its ancient inhabitants. The city's advanced urban planning, awe-inspiring architecture, and spiritual significance have left an indelible mark on the world. The journey of discovery at Teotihuacan is far from over. Ongoing research, preservation efforts, and the dedication of archaeologists and experts ensure that the secrets of this ancient city continue to unfold, offering us a deeper understanding of its past and its enduring influence. Teotihuacan has transcended time, connecting people across centuries and continents. Its global significance and its role in shaping contemporary art, architecture, and culture remind us that the echoes of the past are very much present in our lives. Teotihuacan's legacy is a living testament to human creativity and resilience. Its significance is not confined to the pages of history but is a bridge that unites us with those who once walked its grand avenues. As our journey through Teotihuacan comes to an end, we extend our heartfelt gratitude to the many individuals and organizations dedicated to preserving and unraveling the mysteries of this ancient city. It is through their passion and commitment that Teotihuacan's secrets continue to see the light of day. We would like to express our appreciation to the archaeologists, conservationists, historians, and cultural institutions that have contributed to our understanding of Teotihuacan. Your tireless efforts ensure that this magnificent site endures for future generations. And finally, we extend our deepest thanks to you, our audience, for embarking on this journey through time with us. Your curiosity and appreciation for the wonders of Teotihuacan are what make the enduring legacy of this ancient city so meaningful. As the sun sets over the pyramids of Teotihuacan, we are reminded that the past is not just a distant memory. It is a living, breathing part of our world. The mysteries of Teotihuacan continue to beckon, inviting us to explore, to wonder, and to connect with a remarkable civilization that has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of human history. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this article with fellow history enthusiasts, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you not only support our work but also ensure you're the first to know when we unveil our next captivating historical narrative. Thank you for being part of our community, and until our next adventure together, stay curious and keep exploring.